brush my teeth and recorded myself multitasker in the house. I feel it breathing. There's footsteps in, but there's no footsteps out. Oh God! Oh my God! If you do try to play games with it, that's inviting it in. Come on, Mr. Evil Spirit, let's play a game. How about some WWE 12, huh? That'll be a nice little paranormal activity for us to enjoy together. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what the hell? These aren't Fritos. These are animal crackers. It's not the house. It's me. You cannot run from this. It will follow you. Come on, let's run. No, it'll follow you. You're not in control. What's happening to me? You've unleashed an animal. That's what's happening. This thing left a message. If it's not a ghost. No, but he's barely human. What is it? They call him the animal. Oh, shh. You know, they say if you say his name three times, he'll, he'll appear. Yeah, all right, give me a break. <laughs> Dave Batista. Dave Batista. Dave Batista. premier edition of the Bolo Sholo. Now, of course, I am your host, Aaron Bolo. And first of all, let me just say Happy New Year's to everybody. And I figure what better way to kick off this new year than with a brand new show that's going to take the internet to levels it's never been taken before. Or at least levels that I haven't seen in my days of online video watching. Now, before we get all crazy on this show, I think it's important for me to give myself a proper introduction to those of you that aren't exactly familiar with who I am, what I've done, or where I've been. And while my story starts out a little bit like this, I was... Actually, you know what? Forget all this rambling on from me, I got a better idea. I was actually at my local library yesterday. I picked up this videotape. Yeah, I know, I was... Kind of surprised they still made these two. And it had a bit of interesting info on it. Well, you know what? Let me pop it in and go ahead and check it out. Aaron Bola was born in January of 1986 on the mean streets of Seoul, South Korea. Growing up, he learned the ways of various ancient martial arts as a means of survival, eventually competing in legendary fights against the likes of Bruce Lee, John Kwok, Van Damme, and even Dora of Mortal Kombat fame. After completing his goals in the martial arts realm, he was watching his television when he stumbled upon pro wrestling. More specifically though, it was a match on WWF as it was known at the time, superstars between the late Yokozuna and a so-called jobber named Tony Johnson that Bo Low found his new calling to come to the United States of America 
to become a professional wrestler. Now upon arriving stateside, Bolo made his way to the top ranked wrestling school in the world at that time. The Ultimate Warrior Wrestling Academy. But his dreams were nearly crushed when he showed up only to find that those doors had long since been locked. Fortunately, however, Bolo had stumbled upon tapes of Brock Lesnar, taught himself the art of professional wrestling, and the rest, as they say, is history. Since coming to America, Bala has achieved great success in the world of sports entertainment, as well as branching out into movies, even making an appearance in the critically acclaimed movie Avatar. But he didn't stop there. He even went on to make a bit of a splash in the music industry as well, performing alongside Lady Gaga on her Monsters Ball tour. Now how's that for a poker face? Time shall only tell. <coughs> Excuse me what the future holds for Mr. Eric Bola. But one thing's for sure, with the u u universe firmly in the palms of his hands, his star is shining bright. In the future, it looks even brighter. Well, hey, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit me up on the Facebook. You know, follow me on the Twitter. Check out the YouTube channel. And add me as a friend on MySpace? <laughs>